Good morning, and I hope everyone is well. Now today you find me at Newnham College in Cambridge, which is actually where I work. And during 2020, I made Newnham my project for the year because we couldn't travel. And I focused on photographing all of the buildings. And I'm quite proud to say that I've actually got an exhibition running here at the moment. By the time this video goes out, the exhibition would have come down. But um, uh, it's been great because the college have actually purchased that entire exhibition from me. And I believe they're going to be displaying that over at the principal's lodge. But I've sold quite a lot of prints from it as well. So um, that always lifts the spirits when people appreciate your work uh, and then want to buy your work from you. But what I thought I'd do this year, 2021, um, 20, moving into 2022, sorry, um, I, would, I would focus on Newnham's wildlife because there's an abundance of, of wildlife here. There's foxes and there's deers, lots of birds. And today I thought I would try and come out and try and photograph the, the squirrels. But I think the, the problem I've kind of got at the moment is just the, I'm gonna have to pick and choose the days that I come here because I, I never really want to focus my lens towards any of the buildings. Now, where I'm currently focusing on at the moment, it is quite dark and, and coupled with very kind of dark gray clouds. I've got a 200 to 600 lens on which goes up to or the, the widest that will go is 6.3 f6.3 I'm currently on ISO 4000 to ISO 5000 um, shutter speed of 1 over 160 so if you put all of those elements together uh, they're really not ideal for photographing you know very small animals uh, especially from a distance so I think I will kind of hang around a little bit longer. I've been here for an hour and a half, couple of hours, and I've not really photographed anything of, of worth, nothing that was close to me anyway. Um, everything that I've photographed has been you know, quite some distance away. And then when you add in me cropping as well, the resolution on those images are gonna be extremely poor. But where I'm pointing my camera, uh, the, the sun does kind of come up from behind the trees here and when you've got no clouds in the sky that light does wash through here beautifully and I think that that will probably be the right time for me to to get those shots so I think it's just it's going to be a long process this of trying to get the the right photo where the animal fills up the frame um, in the right light so I can reduce my ISO I can raise my shutter speed a little bit and I don't think today is going to be the day so the next time you see me may actually be on a completely different day possibly a completely different month good morning and welcome back even though it's probably only been a few seconds for you guys there's been a, a gap of around about three or four days this is the last part of the video the weather between Christmas and New Year has just been absolutely shocking it's just been raining pretty much constantly but I've come back into the the college because the forecast is actually broken cloud and sunshine in about an hour and a half something like that and at the moment it's about an hour and a half after sunrise and it's still incredibly dark because of the, the dark clouds that are in the sky. And I've got my camera faced purely at that one tree because that one tree was quite successful for me the other day and it's the closest tree to me. So if I can get a squirrel or a bird landing on that one particular trunk uh, it's going to fill up the frame quite nicely so there's not a lot of cropping going on especially at the moment where obviously my settings are not ideal because it is so dark so I've I focused on that 
a very large and dark trunk but behind that is the canopy of the tree uh, and my settings at the moment is um, f6.3 which is the widest my lens will open up to at 600 mil i'm one over 160 of a second and that's given me an iso of 5000 at the moment but i'm hoping that uh, once that sun starts to move around a little bit and then there is some breaks in the cloud i may get some backlight providing the squirrels play ball and land exactly where i want them to One good thing that I really like about my camera is the ability to switch from full frame over to APS-C, which pretty much means that my full frame camera then turns into a, a crop sensor, um, which I means it, it, it kind of magnifies uh, one and a half times that, than it would from a, a full frame sensor. Now, I know that once I crop in post, I'll have the same resolution on full frame than I will have on APS-C. So that's not the real reason why I enjoy shooting on APS-C. The real reason for that I enjoy it for wildlife is because the file sizes are a lot smaller. And my memory cards are quite slow. They're not the real expensive memory cards um, that will kind of absorb a lot of data and write very quickly. So when I shoot on APS-C mode, I can take, and I'm only guessing now, but I can take twice as many photos before the, the buffer gets filled up um, than I could if I was just shooting on full frame. So when I, when I do have the chance to, to zoom in, press APS-C, um, I will do that all day, every day. has been extremely quiet today. Um, I've had a few squirrels kind of dart through the trees but none of them have really sat where I wanted them to. They've either been obscured um, by some of the leaves or there's been one in particular that sat for quite a while when I say quite a while, perhaps 90 seconds, something like that, that he was sitting in one of the upper branches and uh, there was too much sky behind him to make for a, a decent photo. I really want him in the, on, the, on the branch below the one he was perched on, um, with the sun kind of coming through, and, but, but also being diffused by the, uh, the heavy leaves where he currently was, yeah, it, it, it just didn't work, but at least that was something. I saw a, uh, a green woodpecker just flash through the tree and there's at least a pair of them in the college. And I've always wanted to photograph one here, uh, uh, actually in, in, the, in, in the grounds, but I've never been able to do it. And I got quite excited for a little while thinking, oh, that would be so cool to come and photograph the squirrels today and actually get my shot of the green woodpecker. But it was just a flash and uh, he or she never came back. So I think that's going to be one for another day. Oh, I'm not going to get this camera off of here. But the green woodpecker is actually sitting on the grass. Oh. Oh, hang on. Oh. <laughs> the card's just buffeting. 
Oh, I can't take the video yet. See what I mean about being incredibly slow, these cards. I really need to invest in uh, some better cards. Here we go. Seems to be there for a while. I'm just going to see if I can get low down. Still there. how those photos have come out but oh, that was really unexpected really unexpected I may even try and get him from this angle as well a little bit higher up keeps filling up I reckon I must have taken about 200 photos of this bird surely one's got to come out okay oh I've got cramp <laughs> well he's not moved for about oh, five or seven minutes but he's got his back to me at the moment and there's a pathway that's beyond him and I'm getting that kind of pathway in the shot which is not which is not ideal I'm hoping that um, we'll come a little bit closer so I can get that pathway out of the shot and, and actually turn towards me so I can see his breast rather than at the, the back of him but that's so cool that is so cool to see that green woodpecker and actually get a, a photo of him. I'm absolutely made up, I really am. Especially to have it in front of me for as long um, as I did. I got low to the ground uh, again after I think I'd done that last bit of filming just so I could try and mitigate that pathway in the background. Um, so I'm excited now to kind of get home and uh, have a look at the photos. I'm just hoping that I can get one image that I'm really pleased with that's good enough to, to go into print. Um, but we'll wait and see. And the light is really coming and going. Um, and it's, it's picked, there's a lot of wind as well that's, that's picked up. So it wouldn't surprise me, you know, if we're in for more rain. So uh, I'm going to hang around for a little bit longer just to see if I can get any more photos of the squirrel but I am going to be prepared to make a, a quick dash back inside the building so I think I'm going to end this video now but as always be kind and stay safe <laughs>